Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Welcome to another edition of Entertainment Wednesday. And first things first, I wanna talk about Mr. Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, he will be releasing his new documentary called Sly. It will be streaming on Netflix on November, 2023. And this documentary follows the career, the life and career of Sly. Stallone's career spans over 50 years. He has had success with blockbuster franchises such as Rocky, Rambo, and The Expendables. Now, um, Expendables 1, I remember came out in the summer of 2010. I remember going to movie theaters with a couple of friends of mine from high school. And one of them is my best friend to this day. That was an awesome awesome experience. My cousin was with us as well to watch that movie. That movie was awesome. I liked the first two movies. The third one, I didn't like it so much, but the fourth one is coming out this fall. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. But Sly has always been one of those people that were an inspiration to me in terms of telling your story your own way. Because not only is he an actor, he's a writer, producer, and director as well. He's the one, He, him alongside with Spike Lee are the ones that really set the tone for independent filmmakers like me in terms of wear so many hats on set. So Sly is very special to me in that regard. And he is one of those guys that has gone through a lot of trials and tribulations and struggles before fame and, and even during his career. Um, one of my favorite films from Sly, alongside those film franchises, is Over the Top. Over the Top is the best arm wrestling movie that I've ever seen. Um, so, I'm looking forward to this documentary and this is a good follow-up of Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, three episode docu-series and both of them were rivals in the 80s. So, and I like Arnold's documentary, so I'm definitely looking forward to Sly. We don't see men like them anymore in terms of like having that strong male presence on screen. We just don't see that anymore. But um, I love both guys. I can never pick one. So I'm looking forward to this documentary from Sly. In other news, Mark Warburg, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, um, he is thinking very deep and serious about his future in the film industry. Um, the 52-year-old actor, um, he's considering it not being in front of the in front of the camera for so long. So I know that Mark Wahlberg is not everyone's favorite cup of tea. I know that many people don't think that he's a good actor. Many people think that he's acting as himself, but I'll be honest with you. I like him in The Fighter. I like him in The Departed. I like him in other movies as well, but it wasn't until his portrayal as Father Stu Long in the 2022 film, <laughs> Father Stu, that made me become a fan of him, of his acting. So again, he has had good roles in his career, but Father Stu was the one that really drilled me in the head um, to become a, a fan of him. So, um, and I'm looking forward to his two upcoming projects, which will be, which he will be starring and serving as the producer as well. And those movies are from Our Men from Jersey and The Family Plan. Both films are action films. So I'm looking forward to those and see how those will turn out. Well, that does it for this video of Entertainment Wednesday. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe. And may God bless you all.